Hi guys, Jordan VR here with another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the Void client for VR Chat. This is a newer client that doesn't require a Melon Loader. It's actually coded in C++ and it has its own loader slash injector. So um, it's a pretty good client. Um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate on how to set it up for VR Chat. When you buy the client, you're going to get a license key and you're going to also get a um, access to a channel on the server where you can download the void loader which is going to be compressed in this dot zip once you download it it's going to be like this and then you're going to want to extract it to a separate folder which i have here go ahead and open that and i will say that your antivirus may flag this as a virus it's not a virus um so you're gonna have to open up for me I'm using malware bytes premium as antivirus and uh, you're gonna want to go to settings find wherever it says allow or for you it might say whitelist depending on the program you can want to click on add allow a file or folder select a folder and then you're gonna want to go to where you extracted the void um, loader to which is this folder here for me click select Exclude from all detections, done. Now we're safe to run the void loader. For you, it's gonna have a blank text box. This is my key already entered. So you're gonna wanna paste in the key that you got when you bought the client. You're gonna wanna paste it here. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna just click authenticate once. And it can take a little bit to authenticate. Okay, now once that's authenticated, you could go ahead and click check for updates to pull the latest client download. And then after that, you're going to want to click add to whitelist once. And you only have to click add to whitelist once. You don't have to do it every time you want to use the client. Um, and also for check for updates, you're going to only want to check for updates when the Discord server gets pinged that there's an update for the client. So now that that's fully updated to the latest build and also whitelisted, you could go ahead and run VRChat. And once that, once the game is loaded, you could go ahead and manually inject the client with this inject button. Me disable my full body tracking really quick okay now <clears throat> with this client it's going to replace the emoji button with the void button right here and you could still access emojis right here through action menu little um wheel there and um but anyway so you're going to want to click on the void and then you're going to see all these options and you could go through each one um you could highlight over each button and it'll explain what it does on the bottom where the tooltips is on the bottom and um, if you have any questions about any specific features you can post it in the discord server or you could ask it in the comments on YouTube but I'll basically just select ones that I find useful for me basically a lot of these are just like anti crashes this will prevent event spammers at spam events like basically like photon bots um this is like an anti a 12 crasher and then everything else is pretty self-explanatory um we'll go ahead and move on to the next one this is a prevent uh corrupt acid bundle which is another anti-crash and then this allow friends just bypasses all antis for your friends so none of those affect your friends um like a couple more here and this client does have four different crashers you have a quest crasher game closer corrupt crash and then an audio crasher so if you were to crash somebody with the game closer and it didn't work you could try these other methods but um and then also the quest crasher is a quest specific so it won't crash pc people I also like to turn on name tags, which is name tag ESP, which through most walls you can see people's name tags. Um, 
Player ESP is just like a capsule around people where you can see them through the wall. E1 Distortion is basically a um, mic exploit, which basically plays a very loud volume through your mic. Um, let's see what else here. Um, you got E9 Null Bytes, with, which basically is another crasher. Um, it's either it'll lag somebody or crash them. It's Event 9. And then you have Deserialize, which basically, when you have it turned on and you walk around, it basically freezes your position so people can't see you walk around. It basically disables your movement to everybody else. Invisible Join, Instance Lock. And then there's some more options here. Now, Discord RPC basically just shows a custom VR chat void now playing status which is kind of cool um custom plates which is kind of like rgb name tags for people to have the client i like to turn on debug too and i'll show you guys player list once i go into a public lobby after you selected everything that you want and if you make any changes and you want to save it and have it load these toggles already on each game launch you're going to want to click save config also, I would recommend toggling or clicking auto load void and that'll load up void client every time you load the game and you don't have to manually do it. I'm going to go to a public lobby and show you guys the player list. You can see how I can see their name tags through the walls with that name name tags toggle in the client. Just turn it off and on to show you guys. Um, and then right here, bat debug logs, it'll show bad activity, which is like highly likely that somebody is using malicious events to either lag or crash you. Um, and then I will turn on the player list which you can see right here. That's basically just your whole like world player list, which I think is pretty useful. I click save config. You also, if you select somebody, you have force clone, block all events, blacklist avatar, copy avatar ID, and copy you speak data, which you speak data will basically play somebody's mic through your mic. So if somebody's talking, whatever they're saying or playing through their mic will play through your mic. Um, if you blacklist somebody's avatar, anyways, <laughs> you're going to want to click, um, you're going to want to turn on avatar blacklist right here. And then you're going to want to save config just so that when you blacklist somebody, it does actually not load their avatar. That pretty much wraps it up for the VR menu. Now, if you're on desktop, which um, you could access it in VR still too. If you press L on your keyboard, it'll load up <coughs> the desktop menu of Void. And you could access most of the features that the VR one has through here. Now the desktop menu actually will have more options. Um, but these are like the desktop options here. And also for ping, <coughs> you could turn on, you could actually make your fake ping move so it doesn't look static, which a lot of clients, if you have fake ping, the number does not move. But with void, you could make your ping, your fake ping and your fake uh, FPS move, which I find pretty cool. Usually just set it kind of high and then set it to something like that. Um, you could also change your flight keybind and your ESP keybind. You could target your FPS higher. So when you're in desktop mode, you could reach a higher desktop FPS. This won't affect VR, by the way. Then you have just some other options there. Like I said, after you make any changes, um, be sure to click save. 
And then you can click L again to close the menu. And you can see the fake ping in FPS that's moving. I could turn that off and you could see how it changes then when I turn it back on. But that pretty much wraps it up for the client. Um, I hope that helped you guys set it up. It's fairly easy and this is one client that I would recommend. I used to run many other clients and um, they just would like give me lag or I'd just randomly get crashes. So all I run is this void client now and some other little melon loader mods, but yeah. Thanks for watching and have a great one guys.